Orchard Grizzlies, it's Mrs. Weber here, and I just wanted to share that my favorite part of our school day right now is writing a beautiful five-star sentence. My kindergartners are doing a beautiful job writing. They are rock stars. 53, 54, 55, 56. <gasps> hey guys, Mrs. D here, I'm the PE teacher. And my favorite part about what my students have been learning right now is we have been working on jump rope skills and we have been working through the jump rope ninja belts. And my favorite thing, um, I love jump rope because it's such great exercise, but what my favorite part is seeing all these students improve their jump rope skills. I had a ton of kids that didn't really know how to jump rope and now are confident jump ropers. And so, that's been my favorite part of our current jump rope unit. So good to see you guys. Hey, boys and girls, we are learning about things in our ecosystems. Any ecosystem has several different kinds of animals and plants and organic and inorganic things inside of them. So some of the things that we have inside of our ecosystems, one of the things is what we call decomposers. This used to be rosemary. I would like put it in my food, but now I'm not going to do that because do you see those little white hairy things that are growing on there? Yeah, those are decomposers. If you looked at those little white hairy things under a microscope, they would look like little tiny fungi or mushrooms, basically. And funguses are really great because they break down all that matter and decay it down so that we don't have our forests aren't full of fallen leaves or needles or trees or whatever because the nature just breaks it down, right? And this apple that I found in my fridge, we would not want to eat that, would we? So we have things that work in nature that help break organic material down so that our earth can survive. And it actually gives to the soil. One of the things that um, my students are doing, they actually built a mold terrarium. They have a black bag with some different items inside of it, and they're going to watch that process for a few days and see what happens. The next thing we have in our ecosystem are producers. We have our plants. Plants are producers. They produce their own food through what's called photosynthesis. Plants can't go to the McDonald's or something and grab a burger, right? So they're rooted and this, the roots in this one are growing, and I will plant it in the dirt later on. But they have, they have to make their own food. And there's not food coming from the water, right? Because you don't get food from water. So where's the food coming from? It's coming from the sun, hitting the plant, and creating photosynthesis. So the plant is taking in our carbon dioxide, what we breathe out, and, pull, and giving off oxygen for us to breathe. So photosynthesis. So plants are what we call producers. And what's left? It's us. We are the consumers. We get to eat and we can go out and find whatever we need, but we have to consume what we eat. So have a great day, you guys. Hello, Park Orchard Elementary. I'm Miss Adame, second grade teacher. The thing that I love to teach the most is math. I love math because you can always revise your thinking. You can be wrong and fix it, and that's okay. It's whether you think you can, so think you can. So I have a group of second grade math. Magicians! Who happen to love math. What is our goal this week that we've been working on? What do we love? Math. I can't hear you. There you have it. What do you got on your whiteboards, guys? Yeah. Huh, they love math, too. Hey, Park Orchard Grizzlies. This is Mrs. Krober in the music room. And for the last four to six weeks, we have been working with boom whackers. And we have turned them into xylophone-like instruments, and we have been playing them. The kindergartners, first graders, and second graders have been working with how music can move up down and by steps or skips. And we've been having a lot of fun with that. The third, fourth, and fifth graders have been working on their recorder music. Since we can't play recorders, we've been playing it on boom whackers. Have a good day. Hi, this is Mrs. Johnson. And uh, one of the really cool things that we've been learning about in first grade in our informational writing time, 
um, is about animals, all these animals. We've learned about elephants um, yesterday and the day before we learned about cheetahs. We're learning about their habitats and their diets and other really cool informational facts. And then the students are writing about them. So they're learning and then they're writing about it and they are loving it and it's awesome. Hey, Park Orchard Grizzlies, Mrs. Chavez here, remote second grade teacher. We've been working really hard in math and it's been exciting to see our students add two digit numbers and regroup, learn about three digit numbers, numbers with the ones, tens, and hundreds place. And now we're ready to put those two ideas together and start adding three digit numbers, if you can't tell. I love math and I'm excited to move into some new learning with our students. Hi everybody, I am Mrs. Childress and I'm teaching first grade remotely. My favorite thing that we're learning about right now is in science. In science, we're learning about our spinning sky and so how some things in the sky stay the same and some things change. Did you know there's a special star in the sky called the North Star that can help you if you get lost? It's always in the North and you can find it if you can find the Big Dipper. If you can find a group of stars or a constellation that looks like this, and you follow the stars on the outer edge of the Big Dipper up, you'll find the North Star. And that star is always in the North and it can help you if you get lost. Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Hockstutter from kindergarten. And my favorite thing this year is always being able to count how many days of school. When we count all the way up to 100, we have a huge celebration. I love watching my students grow. And after they learn to count to 100 on their own, they can earn a charm bracelet. Nice work, kindergartners. Bye. Hey, all you Grizzlies out there. This is Ms. Swan. I have my friend Kelso here. And Kelso is so excited to be in the classrooms. And luckily, I get to be in all the classrooms from kindergarten to fifth grade. So thank you students that are practicing your Kelso steps. This is Puppy and Puppy has loved being in first and second grade as kids learn about personal safety. Earlier, um, which got to be in the classroom and we all learned about bullying and how we could keep ourselves safe. And I want to thank all the kids that are actively learning about zones of regulation and want to sign off and say, hey, we are sending you a virtual hug from the counseling office. Have a great day. Thanks. Hi, all. So my first graders favorite thing to do this year is writing. We have been traveling around the world. We've been to the rainforest and learned about the animals that live there, wrote about them. We went to the Arctic, learned about animals that live there, wrote about them. And right now we are in the African savanna, learning about cheetahs and giraffes and elephants. They just love learning about these animals and then writing about them too. And by the way, they are awesome writers. Hi everyone, I'll give you three guesses what day I am recording this video on. You're right, it is St. Patrick's Day. What a fun day uh, that we gotta celebrate St. Patrick. Um, and everybody gotta wear green. I love St. Patrick's Day. So, but I am Mrs. Roberts and I'm a second grade teacher and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what second graders are learning in this year. Um, we have been following Miss Tam around the world and it's been very interesting. She went to Africa and we learned about some animals in Africa. She went to Hawaii and we talked about volcanoes in Hawaii. Um, and then now she has gone to the Great Barrier Reef and and we are learning about the Great Barrier Reef. We are learning about clownfish and sea anemone. We are learning about manta rays and what else? Oh, octopus. We talked about octopus today in class. Um, the pictures in our books are just beautiful. This, the, the reefs are just full of color, not only colorful fish, but also colorful coral. And we've learned about coral polyps. So anyway, uh, that's what we're doing in second grade. And probably some of you have already studied about the reef because you've been in second grade here. I hope you have a great day.
Hey boys and girls, Mrs. Burton here. My first graders love to write about animals and draw pictures of them. And they are learning about one from the savannah and they want to show you their drawings. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you some clues. It, it, this animal has huge ears, it's big, and it has a trunk. It's an elephant. Did you get it? Here's a few other pictures of an elephant that they wanted me to share with you. They work hard on these. Let's a couple more. And one last one right there. Bye.